It was the first time I had ever seen two outcomes, as if I were being given a choice. Before me were two deaths. One was to come in a time of tranquility, while the other was on the brink of chaos. I believed I had done everything possible to escape this grim fate, but now I see how naive I was. Fate is an unyielding force beyond anyone's control. The heavy weight of these burdens I've carried for so long now falls squarely on your shoulders. I hope you will forgive me for abandoning you before you understood. I'm afraid destiny is not on your side. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to some World of Tanks with the Waffenträger Offs E100. Um, what you just heard was the prologue, first draft prologue to my book that I'm working on. I've been shuffling around a bunch of prologue ideas. I wanted one, maybe one super short, just a sentence or two, and like maybe one long, maybe something that takes place way before the events, but it has to set up the tone of the story. And so I'm throwing around all these ideas when I suddenly have this idea of having simply one sentence, one line, one quote as the prologue. And that was, I'm afraid destiny is not on your side. Because so often books, especially fantasy books, because that's what this is, it's a fantasy book, um, it's all about destiny. It's all about destiny being on the side of the chosen one. Star Wars is one of those. Uh, Lord of the Rings. We've got um, Harry Potter. All those have destinies for the chosen one. This time, I wanted a bad destiny for the quote-unquote chosen one. Um, and uh, that's how I decided to do it. Instead of you being like, oh, God, this guy's got a destiny. Oh, he's got a bad destiny. Okay, cool. But that, So that's what I went with. Um, I really like it. I think it sets up the tone of the story very nicely. And uh, we go from there. But we're not here to talk about that anymore. We are on the, uh, or in the Waffenträger E100. And I have three games for you. Three big games. They just get bigger and bigger as the video goes on. Uh, this tank is absolutely nuts. I had no idea. I, I remember playing this back when it had the six shot autoloader. And being like, this is pretty disgusting when you find somebody and you kill them. Yes, I get that. But as far as high damage games go, I just couldn't do it. I also wasn't a Unicum yet. I was bad at the game at the time. With a 54 percenter when I had the waffle. Now I'm a 65, almost 66 percenter. So we've kind of figured out how to play the game. And with the four shot, man, I love the four shot. I think the four shot is just better. It's amazing. Hello, Grill. One, two, oh, double tracked, three four dead out of the game i mean it, it, what is there to say four shots is still enough to clip out most most tier 10s um every tier 10 tank destroyer every tier 10 medium tank however not every tier 10 heavies in fact most of them you can't clip out but if they take any damage whatsoever you can hello avery um, i want to kill this avery he's the scary one because if he hits my tank i die 1400 alpha on his Standard HE, 1100 on his premium HE. And we're just sitting in this little alley, this uh, road, street, whatever you want to call it. And I've been having some good games coming here. Some really, really good games. The I didn't realize just this tree right there kind of conceals you. And you can see people as they cross that ridge really, really nicely. And I sat here the other day in my grill and I had a good game as well. It's just, it's just working. Hello. Oh, he's hiding. He doesn't want that. Sir? He fired? Okay. There was another medium over here. It was a 430 I saw. Maybe I go for this guy's turret. Now, I want him to forget that I'm here. Because if I fire, he remembers. It's like, oh yeah, there's somebody there. So, I'm just waiting patiently, waiting for someone to make another mistake, waiting for them to forget that I'm here. So I can clip out yet another tank. We're only up to 2,400 damage, and I promised you a large game. And games that only get larger and larger. The Avery kills off uh, Glare, who we were platooned with there. Oh, how about him? Oh, no, we missed. That was not going to hit. It was too slow. Slow moving shell. Maybe he'll come from the other side. I don't know. But this is just, just, this is just patience. Oh, he did. He, he forgot about me. One, two. Hey, I've got another one. Look at me. Three and pull back before the Avery has time to shoot us. 3,700 damage. Clipped out another tank. We're up to three kills. This tank farms kills, and you're gonna notice that that we just get kill after kill after kill. Um, and that's how I believe you've got to play this tank. A lot of people will go strictly for damage. They'll shoot two into one guy, and then he's a one shot. So then they'll change their shot and shoot two into another guy. You need as many guns dead when you're playing the waffle as you can get. 
All right, if somebody has 11 health left, and you have one shot left in your magazine, and you have a full health tank that you can pen easily, kill the tank. Kill the tank that you can kill. Kill the one that has the 11 health, okay? Get him out of the game. You're doing nothing for yourself if you shoot the other guy. Oh, this guy is back. Hello, one. Track him, and two. He's dead. Nice. We've switched to our premium rounds so that we can go through the turret of that centurion. That was the plan. But alas, it was not needed. He presented himself very nicely to us. And we killed him. We tracked him. We've tracked, I think, every tank we've shot at. We just tracked <laughs> a very accurate gun on this thing. I think it's 0 .27. 0 .28. I believe it's 0 .28, and then you can get it down even lower than that. So I don't know what we're at right now. Probably 0 .2 with today's perks. And how I have it set up is I have um, both speed equipment. I have fuel, as you can see in the bottom. Then I have camo net. Full camo crew. And food. Uh... And let me tell you, this tank works phenomenally like that. Don't You don't need optics, right? You don't need your fancy aiming equipment or anything like that. Just drive around as quickly as you can with as much camo as you can, okay? That will keep you alive the best, the longest in this tank. And it's been serving me beautifully. We're just about to three mark this thing. And then maybe I'll go for gold. Mmm, wouldn't that be something? Probably not, but I'm having a blast playing this tank. I cannot believe the damage. In fact, yesterday I pulled it out, had a few good games, and, you know, 7,000 damage games, 8,000 damage games, and I was thinking to myself, these aren't good enough to show. Like, I have so many good waffle games. These ones aren't, aren't worthy of recording, and I didn't record them because that's how disgusting this tank is. We're up to 4,600 damage, and we're not done. My kitty keeps chirping at me. Stop chirping. Go away. Uh, this one is the first game I'd pulled out in a long time in the waffle and this was this was the result and so that's why I wanted to show this one and then and then we jump to the next and the next I also had a, I believe a 9,000 damage game I didn't record unfortunately kitty why are you here oh my goodness but I feel like as I play this tank as I go for three marks I potentially will break my damage record in this I think I can make I think I can do 11,000 I think 10,000s are just waiting to happen probably every few few games frankly go away kitty kitty's clawing my shoulder why all right we've got this light tank he's killing our piggies oh well they're just pigs we don't need them hello okay he spots us there's a death star over there somewhere fire one shot we miss but we've got two more shots three more shots that one hits and boop he's dead cycle the reload let's move on 5300 damage no light tank to worry about behind us we are targeted I assume it's the Death Star. Maybe it's that E100. Time to hide. I'm always assuming it's the bigger tank. Because I can't... See, like, especially if I can't see it and I don't know where they are. That's just what you have to do. Whenever you're targeted in this game and you don't know what it is, assume it's the scariest tank. What tank don't you want to get hit by? Assume it's that one. There's no point There's no point taking a risk otherwise. I mean, it's a 1 in 15 chance. If all 15 tanks are alive and you don't know where any of them are, it's a 1 in 15 chance that it's the scariest tank aiming at you. Which aren't great odds. It's like, oh, well, 1 in 15 is great. I'll take the risk. But there's also, if there's 15 tanks, there's quite a, a significant chance that it's multiple tanks looking at you. And if you do know where the E100 is, and you know where the medium is, and you know where the uh, other tanks are, but you don't know where the scariest tank is, then that makes the odds even greater that it's the scariest tank looking at you. So whenever you're targeted, assume... Not only is it the scariest tank looking at you, but also assume it's multiple tanks looking at you. And trust me, your survival rate will go up. Don't just take the targeted, targeted little light at the bottom for granted. It's there to help you. It's there as a tool. Use it as a tool. Increase your survival rate with that tool. And when you're in a tank, a glass cannon like a Waffly 100, one that doesn't have good camouflage, even with my full camo setup, one that doesn't have good mobility, even with my mobility setup, one that doesn't have um, any armor whatsoever, you cannot hide, then then you need you need to pay attention. Like, really pay attention. There are some tanks where it's fun to get shot at. Oh, hello, sir. We're going to shoot this guy once at the side of the turret, once down here, and finish him off he shot us with he there he hit us in the hull and not in the turret if he had hit us in the turret it would have hurt a lot more i don't think he would have penned us because of our extra armor that our turret has these days i've been bouncing off the turret of waffles it's been kind of obnoxious but alas there are now three tanks left just the death star and the t95 e6 
We are reloading yet again, 16 seconds. We're gonna be going up here. Uh, our last video featured live oaks. And see this tree? I've said this before, if you're in your light tank, knock this tree down as you go by from the other side. Give your team more concealment, trust me. You'll help your team out a whole lot. Little things like that. Hello, Piggy, we're gonna put one into him, aren't we? Kill him, boop, dead. Next, all right, T95V6, you wouldn't be stupid enough to pop out, would you? He was, put one in, then we track him. He fixes, <laughs> but he cannot escape the third shell. Bring our total damage up to 8,018 and our kills up to eight. That is a Riley Walters, and unfortunately, uh, we're not able to chase down this Death Star on time. T100 and this other tank destroyer are much faster than us. They get to him, the grill kills him, and the game ends, but not before we do 8,000 damage and grind ourselves out eight kills for our effort. 1,700 base experience points in game one, netting us an Ace Tanker and a Pascucci's and a Riley Walters. We're at 89.5%. Now, how about the second worst map in the game? Namenhan with audio, because last one had my audio turned on, and it had my pl party's audio turned on, and we were in with multiple platoons we were talking with. It was chaos, and I'm like, I can't edit this all. It'll be silent anyway. So, we're not going with that. We are, we, uh, we just muted it. Uh, but this one, I don't need to mute, and I'm playing solo in the Waffle 100 and we have a fantastic game here, and a lot of fun. Hello, sir. One... Two, three, four. There we go. And move on. <laughs> 2,000 damage to start the game. Just like that. 50 TP is dead. GG. Too easy. That's the waffle. They, he did not expect the waffle coming out here. And that was my hope. <clears throat> I said to myself as I started this game, where can I go in the waffle on the second worst map in the game, Namenhan? Because the... Alfaya Pass is the worst one. Where can I go in my waffle where I will have cover, where I can hide, where I don't need to be already. There is no Arties, but if there was, you know, and where I can wait and ambush one by one by one. And I said, the corner of the map, right here. This is where I can do it. They have to come at me. I've got this bamboo that actually counts as concealment, by the way. It acts as though there are leaves. It's quite interesting. But we get spotted there, so maybe I'm wrong. Nope, it was this Progetto. And now there's an E4. Oh, he hits us there. And we missed two shots into him. Oof. Okay, we're gonna reload. He hit us for 852. So that's kind of painful. So be it. That's actually about dead average. He's got an 850 alpha gun. But I know he's coming. So I'm gonna do something quite sneaky here to ambush him. I'm actually going to be driving here. And I'm gonna be hiding in a spot where he will not spot me before... He spots and engages this T-30. Sorry, T-30. I'm kind of going to use you here for a minute to be bait. I hope you don't mind. It takes a bit, so I've sped it up a little bit. Requires some patience. Here comes my T-30. And there he is. Boom. Fantastic. He just fired. Now we've got to kill him because I don't want my T-30 to take any more damage than he already has. That would be very unfortunate we get spotted proxied he hasn't noticed it's us yet he's going straight after this t30 one two he fires again misses three give him a love tap four finish him off he's dead four thousand damage done we've clipped out two tanks now who have had exactly two thousand health and our t30 survived that encounter having received only one shot which is big now there's an m103 we're up to 13 we only have 1,300 health left. I gave the E4 a love tap there because we were rolling low on him. And our last shot was going to be about a 50-50 chance of actually killing him. So something told me in my head that he was using the equipment and the crew skill that makes it so he takes less damage. 10% less damage. And so my 560 alpha damage when shooting him turns into 500 amp. Four, meaning he's about a 50-50 of clipping out. And we rolled so low that I wasn't going to risk it. I'm like, okay, I'll lose a little bit of health here to tap him. And we did. We get spotted here. I'm on a three. He's running the other way. We put one into him, two into him. He has a one shot. Can we finish him off? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Going to get to him. Hopefully we don't get killed by these tank destroyers in the back. I know they're there. But I am in cover from them from where I am. Finish him off. No, we miss. Somebody bounces off of us. Oh, the M103 hits us. And then we finish off the M103. Unfortunately, we took a hit there. It looks like the Conway bounced off of us. Or someone else did. I think it was someone else because the Conway had just fired again. He's got a fast reload, but not that fast. 
plus he'd have to re-engage since he was shooting at someone else. Okay, 5,100 damage, 3 kills. We are down by 4 tanks. And I'm like, fall back, fall back. We gotta fall back, guys. Get back into the town. Take them one by one by one. It's our only hope. 5,100 damage. Oh, we lose the T-95. This T-30 and this Jagdpanzer E-100 are going to be my only allies this game. But we can do it. I am reloaded. They have two Object 268s plus an Object 268 version 5, all of which have 850 alpha, all of which can one-shot me if they hit me and roll just a bit higher than average. I have to use my allies, and I'm hopeful that they can play smart enough to not be killed. That is the plan, that is the hope. And if I get flanked here, I get flanked here, but I have to I have to help them. I'm hoping they beeline. There's just three tanks left, beeline. Somebody cross right in front of me. Come on, sideways, just cross in front of me. It's fine. There's only 628 millimeter shells with APCR loaded waiting for you. That's all, don't worry about it. I'm getting a little spooked here. I'm like, maybe something's coming up behind me. Could there be? I'm taking a quick peek. And I'm listening carefully for stuff knocking down right here. And I hear nothing. Nothing at all. It's like, okay. I guess they're not coming through the town yet. Because I don't think they're going to be coming through the town and not knocking things down. I'm pretty sure they're going to be crashing into stuff. And so I stop again and I listen. Nothing. Okay, target. Centurion, object 268. Oh, what's this? A 268 version 5. Hello, sir. Don't mind me. He's noticed me, so he does mind me, unfortunately. Okay. Does he want to risk shooting me? Doesn't sound like it. Or seem like it. I say sound because I'm going to listen again. Now I take a quick peek here. Nothing. Okay, version 5 has moved on. He gets shot, and he dies for free. Here comes the 268. Come here, 268. You are sideways. I put one into him in the drive wheel, two into the drive wheel. Keep him here. And, nope, I do not fire my last shell. We have just been flanked. It is the Kanonen Jagdpanzer. I finish off the Kanonen Jagdpanzer, and I hope my team, who are in a fantastic position, can finish off this Patton. And they do. They both put shells in. He goes down. Affirmative. We are up to four kills. 7,000 damage, and suddenly it is a three versus five, and I am reloading now for 20 more seconds. Once I'm loaded, I can help again. We can pull this off. All we have to do is just keep this crossfire going. No, the Conway finishes off the Jagdpanzer. He flanked from behind. I have 10 seconds left before I can help. Come on, T-30. You can do it. Put one more shell in. Oh, the Conway. That's no good. Can you kill off the Conway, maybe? And I can kill off the Waffle. We come around the corner. Hello, Waffle. We put one into him. Can I kill him? Oh, he gets away. How about this Conway? Come on. Where's the shot? Where's the shot? Two. One more shot. Finish him off. How about this Waffle? He's a one shot for us. It's one versus three. Where is he at? There he is. And we finish him off. Oh, and then the Centurion finally comes from behind. And we go down, but not before we were able to kick and scream and scratch the enemy, giving them absolute pain and misery. Six kills, 8,800 damage, ace tanker again, and we are now up to 90.78%. And the Waffle E100, but we are not done yet. We have one more game for you guys. How about some good old Pearl River? Well, it's the HD version, which is quite quite nice. It's much better than the original, so I, I very much enjoy it. I don't know why in the original it didn't have this middle area opened up, which you could go up into. It's just a whole, a whole location that just was unplayable. I hope they do the same for Sacred Valley. I miss Sacred Valley so much. That was one of my all-time favorite maps, and it would be so cool if they opened up the middle, that big mountain with the town in the middle. Oh, that would be so cool, but we'll see. Uh, that's a map I don't think anyone ever talks about but I love it. But we've just done this little bit of a climb here. You can get up here with basically any tank, as slow as you want. Um, not the way I did it, more straight up from the very left of that building. So on the very rightmost part of that ramp, you can get up. Uh, but we get spotted here. They've got a Ramatal, Penzavagen, and a Sheridan, who have played very aggressively, and both have gone to the, about the same location. So they're not spreading out their view range. But that's okay. We're just going to wait here. Wait for some opportunities, and just put shells in. And that's what you have to do in the Waffle E100. You just have to wait. Wait for opportunities. Wait till you're like, you know what? I can trade effectively. Trade or, even better, shoot safely. Oh, so we're probably going to take a shell here. One, two, and that's it. Let's back up. Nope, let's go forward. 
I decided that forward would be better because backing up would take longer, and I know the Rimmeltal Panzerwagen is there, and he'll probably shoot me, so I'm going to wait to go undetected, and then I'm going to see if I can skirt past. But now that the Artie's aiming, it's not worth waiting. I'll let the Rimmeltal shoot me if he wants to. He does, puts it into my side, and we avoid the piggy. Okay. Can I find another shot elsewhere? We still have two shells loaded, and that's the thing about this tank. It's like, do you keep your container loaded or do you reload i finally decided to reload and we're just gonna wait if you find yourself in a position like i am here go ahead and take all the time you need to reload and that's how you should be playing the waffle you should be putting yourself in a spot where you can take all the time you need to reload over and over and over again and i know there's no way for them to rush me and if they do all i have to do is drive forward and drop off of this middle area and i'll be safe so we're we're good there Three seconds left to reload. I've loaded nothing but APCR this time around. Hello, sir. Um, where's the shot? One. Two. Can I finish him off? Three. Yes, I can. Do we go for the reload? Yes, we do. I cycle immediately. It's like, no, nope, I saw him pushing. It's not worth the risk if I poke out to shoot that guy. I'll get shot this from the same location that I was just shooting at that IS-2. And I don't really want that. Or IS-3, too. That's what it was. So I'm just going to reload. 18 seconds. And I'm going to rinse and repeat. But you're going to see some bad shots. Or a bad shot with this magazine, unfortunately. It happens, you know. Uh, we're down by four tanks again. But we are not anywhere near done. We have one kill. And this one is going to be big. My platoon pulls off something rather crazy. ST2. Mm, he's the tank to beat. As I've already decided, he's the one that needs to be killed. He's the one who needs to be outsmarted. If we lose, it's because of him. So, instead of going after him, what I do, whenever I'm fighting a Unicum or a good tank or something like that, is I kill off his little TIE Fighter minions. Put one in the object, bounce off the second one, put three, and I'm going to finish him off instead of shooting the Tank Destroyer. Why? Because it's better to do that. I'm not going to spread my damage out. I'm going to knock guns out because our team is losing. We're up to 3,800 damage, we have two kills, and we're nowhere near done. I told you these games get bigger and bigger. We're reloading again. And we've got two tank destroyers now in front of us. And neither of them are prepared for what's about to happen to them. <laughs> Darth Bacon kills two guys above me. I needed that. They were proxying me, and now they are dead, allowing me to do this. Hello, sir. One high roll, please. Oh, left them on seven. Finish them off. And this TS, will he be looking our way? He is. We finish him off, though. But not before he puts a shell into us. And we're going to cycle immediately. We're up to four kills and 4,600 damage. There are seven tanks left alive, including two piggies. He lagged out, so I'm inviting him back into the party. Get him back in here. We need him. Plus, he's a, he's a clan member, so Adam is a friend. All right, ST2. I don't think he has any more support, so now... I'm thinking is my chance to bum rush him. Now's my chance to kill him. Get him out of the game. He's taking another hit. He's going to take three shots at the moment to kill. How do I get down there to kill him? I'm thinking maybe I can go around this way to kill him. I cannot. The Patriot's behind me. I get proxied. No, that's not going to work. Luckily, our light tank has decided he wants to take it upon himself to take the fire, which is interesting because he's a one-shot. There's the shot. All right, let's do this. Here I come, sir. You fired. You're not going to have the double shot ready. You're going to shoot me anyway, but that's okay. Here I come. Shoot me once. He does. I put one into him, track him. Two, one in the lower plate, and three. He goes down. He's dead. Out of the game. Five kills, 5,600 damage, and suddenly our team who were down at one point by four tanks is now up by one. We're winning for the first time in this battle, and we have five kills, and my platoon, other than myself, have three, giving us a total of eight. We have eight kills. There's a chance we can get 14 kills. There's a chance we can get 12 kills. There's a chance for a crucial contribution. All we need to do is kill four more tanks. Can we do it? I'm trying to get back up here. Now you're going to see the, uh, the way any tank can get up. You go all the way to this point, the leftmost side of this building. And you just drive up. It's that easy. You're going to see some more bad shots here. Oh, Stritzvon kills off Russian in his Ramatal Panzerwagen. But hello, CC. One. Two. Oh, we hit the rock. Three. Four. That's why they give us four shells, so we can murder tier eights. 
<laughs> even when we miss. And the Patriot goes down as well. We're up to six kills. We have our top gun. 7,000 damage. And we're not done yet. <laughs> You're going to hear that a lot. We're not done yet. We have 1,400 assist damage as well. Almost 1,500 assist damage. And we have 11 more seconds until we're loaded to clip out yet another tank. Hello, Mr. M48. Do I have shots on him? Does not appear to be the case. Okay, maybe I can find this Thritzvong who's backing him up instead. I probably don't have the view range to see him, but I don't need to. There he is. Hello, Thritzvong. One miss. And a kill. There we go. We're up to seven kills. 7,300 damage. Bacon kills off his counter. And now it is a hunt for the two piggies. The two piggalicious pigs. Now you're going to see something here as we drive on. I'm also going to speed this up again. No, the tank does not actually go this fast. I can go 48 in a straight line because of my equipment, but that's it. Uh, we get a little intuition here, and we ignore it, and it's really, really, really sad. There's the piggy, and we put one, and we put two. He's dead, and for a split second there, it said we were targeted, but it couldn't have been from the M4043 because he was turned the other way. He would have to be looking directly at me in his artillery unit for it to say that Artie was targeting us and in his top-down view. Which tells me the piggy is not up where I'm heading. But then I thought, you know what? It was so quick that I think it was the M4043 who was looking at me. And not the GWE100. And so I go for it. I'm like, I want 9,000 damage. I want 9 kills. I'm a greedy little man. He's not here. Well, shoot. I should have listened to the intuition. Should have listened to the tools that the game does give every player. Where it said we were targeted by artillery, but the M4043 was not looking at us. Therefore, he had to be in a place where he could shoot us. Where he had line of sight. And it could not have been behind that rock. Because he does not have the shell arc. So I'm thinking maybe he's up here and he was in a bush. No, I would have still been spotted. And again, I'm just not thinking it through properly enough. There he is. That's exactly where he could have been to shoot us. And we have a shot here. No, we missed. We did have one. I went for it. Again, I was tasting 9,000 damage. We're up to 8 kills. I'm tasting. I can still do 9,000 as long as he doesn't get shot again. But my platoon mate is looking for shots, and he does have shots on him. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to shoot him again. <laughs> but not before the artillery gets a shell off and they shoot each other at the same time. And he's dead. Now it's just the piggy. Hello, piggy. Now I'm in position to shoot you. And I shall. 377 damage there. 8,000 680 damage done in the Waffle E100 and a beautiful number. Nine kills. I wish it was ten, but we got nine kills. Four kills from Darth Bacon, one from Russian, giving us a total of 14 kills. We killed the entire lobby. Minus one in this death platoon. Well, well, well. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The Waffle E100, we are so close to three marking it. Uh, I think we're at 92.5% or 92.48. We're going to see here in just a minute when I scroll to my medals exactly what we are at. Crucial contribution, Dimitri's medal, and we are at 92.42% in the Waffle E100. And we finally killed an ST2, so we get that. Or maybe it's the IS-32 that got us this Russian medal for killing every tank in the Russian line. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But there you have it. Big game and a big tank. Big games in, in a big tank. Big games with a bunch of friends as well. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later, everyone. Take care and peace out.